Hi, I'm Pastor Wes Johnson, and it's another vlog of living in uncertain times. And we are at our house here in Marshall. We're out on the porch. Um, if I just be quiet, you can hear the rain on the roof. Just I think you can hear that just a little bit. And I, I want to say, rain, rain, go away, come again, another day. You know, remember that phrase? Well, the problem is, is that I found is that another day comes and it, and I say the same thing when the rain comes, rain, rain, go away, come again another day. It's been raining pretty much all night and, and all day, and it's been a wonderful rain. It's been gentle, but you know what? I can't do what I want to do outside. There's always things to do outside. It's inconvenient. Rain oftentimes can be inconvenient. Now, I found that life is inconvenient. Have you? I certainly have. And I'll tell you what, this COVID-19 is inconvenient, that's for sure. But did you know that rain is referred to most often in the Bible as actually something very good? Hebrews chapter 6 verse 7 says, For ground that drinks the rain which often falls on it and brings forth vegetation useful to those for whose sake it is also tilled, receives a blessing from God. You see, the rain gives it a blessing. We know that rain is needed at times, and, and we really kind of even need it today. And so it's really kind of a blessing for us. But, but sometimes what we need isn't convenient, is it? Sometimes it can actually bring about storms and troubles in our life. Well, Jesus refers to the devastation that rain can bring in his parable of the house built on a rock compared to the house that was built on sand. Uh, in Matthew chapter 7, verse 27, Jesus says, The rain fell, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and slammed against that house, and it fell, and great was its fall. You see, the rain caused that for the house built on God's word and trust in God, a house built on rock. Well, the rain and storms, they come, but they don't destroy it, Jesus said. But the house that is built on sand, the sand of our own wants and desires, that's destroyed by the rain and the storm. And so in uncertain times, the rain and the storms, they'll come. They will come. And oftentimes God even uses them to redirect us or to bring a hidden blessing into our life. As we live through our own rains, seek the protection of the rock of ages. Seek God, our creator and savior and protector. Look for the ways that God is protecting you in the midst of the storm and then give God thanks. Look for the ways that God is calling you to see God's directing and guiding hand through the rain and follow that hand of direction. Well, we know the sun will rise after the rain, and the blessings of God will appear. But while the rain falls, we need to encourage each other, and we need to help each other get through the storm. Peace and Towels, Pastor Wes.